What's up everyone? Today I'm doing a quick tier list video on different programming projects that you can be doing right now. So first programming project that we are going to rate is a workout app. Now immediately creating a workout app as your programming project gives off crazy grind set mindset mentality vibes. So I have to deduct some points. Now, just to have a gauge of uh, where things are lying, I think I'll have to put this in F tier now. For some reason, a lot of beginner programmers decide to create a workout app, and maybe because it's so popular for beginners to create, they often end up being very shit. So. <laughs> Okay, so that was the first thing. Now, next up is a difficult contender, 3D games. Now, in the image here, we have the goat from Goat Simulator, and that's exactly what I'm envisioning when I think of creating a 3D game. So we're talking weird physics, you're probably using Unity or Unreal Engine, and guess what? Whatever you create, it's probably gonna be kind of fun. So I think this is somewhere around a tier territory actually which is kind of crazy but you know what fuck it then we have something a bit similar 2d games so where does this rate especially compared to the 3d goat right here i think creating 2d games especially as a beginner can yield some pretty boring results now i'm speaking from experience as i have dabbled in creating a 2d game called tilted typer Let's go! And yeah, it basically got nowhere. And uh, I think 2D games has to be in the D tier as of now, at least. Okay, which one should we pick for the next one? So I'm thinking, yeah, Fairy Core Minecraft Mods <laughs> is next up. So if you are a programmer and you're creating Minecraft mods, you're fucking out of this world. That's classic s tier behavior now Perfect. i haven't tried out this fairy core mod but shit is probably sick as fuck and uh, also when it comes to programming in minecraft you don't even have to create mods i feel like if you're uh, 14 years old and a redstone engineer then you probably are more skilled than any senior dev out there so yeah next up we will do programming course projects. So these are the types of projects that you have not come up with yourself, but you simply do by following a course or a tutorial or yeah, something like that. I obviously think you can learn a lot from following a course and there are actually some pretty cool courses out there. Now for myself, I recently tried out a code crafters course link in the description if you want to check it out yourself and yeah i did this course and started building a shell from scratch which was kind of sick and i actually was kind of impressed by it and also i actually first started learning programming through a programming course at code academy the python 2 course which also should be free and um, yeah so there's definitely some potential here but I think the skill ceiling for what you're able to learn on following a tutorial is kind of limited so I think I will have to put this in the C tier as of now. Then we have a pizza restaurant website or you know what it doesn't have to be pizza but it, it can be any restaurant website now i've created this project you probably have too it's very <laughs> typical for us uh, web developers at least when starting off and uh, yeah i actually sold a pizza restaurant website to a pizza restaurant in my local neighborhood when i was a kid and uh, yeah it was complete garbage but fuck it they liked it and the time it takes to create one shouldn't be too long and it almost always looks kind of crap so i think this has to go in the d tier it's it's worse than 2d games but uh, it's still not workout app territory Continuing with web development projects, let's talk about the personal website. So this is obvious S tier material. I have a personal website. It currently looks like this and is probably gonna change in uh, 
two days <laughs> because when you have a personal website you change stuff all the time it's super fun and uh, yeah you don't even have to be a web dev to uh, to find joy in uh, creating some html and css uh, fuckery so yeah everybody should have a personal website i think it's very fun and uh, yeah it's obvious s tier when it comes to programming projects now for something completely different, hardware projects. So this might be an Arduino project or a Raspberry Pi project, but what I'm thinking here is that it involves some sort of physical aspect. And I've actually had a lot of fun creating stuff like this earlier, like this ping pong robot I once created. Holy shit. And also my attempt at creating a beer can cooler that would shoot beer cans up to your hands. Anyways, uh, I didn't finish that project, but as a developer, I found the coding part of any hardware project to be very enjoyable. And also it's fun using your pause for something else than just typing on the keyboard. So this is definitely A tier. And lastly, I want to cover text editors. So I'm not talking about configuring NeoVim or something like this screenshot would imply, but creating a project that actually is creating a text editor. That could be an IDE for, for instance, or something simpler like a markdown editor. And guess what? I love that shit. I think that's even above hardware projects. So I haven't done one myself, but I really want to create a journal app or something like that uh, sometime in the future. So yeah, hopefully this is going to be fun. But anyways, as of my take on it right now, it seems like a very cool project to embark on. And um, yeah, I guess that pretty much sums up the programming project tier list. So I covered a lot of different projects here, obviously not all kinds of projects, but uh, yeah, the takeaway should be fairly obvious. You should create Minecraft mods if you have the time for that. And um, yeah, see you in the next video.